Hey there, uh, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to our two minutes American English with me, Anwar Islam, along with FM Tasin Islam from your amazing channel Lycia. Tasin, uh, could you tell us uh, what our modal auxiliary is? No, I can't. Well, uh, Tasin, you know, will, would, can, could, may, might. These are all modal auxiliaries. Modal auxiliaries have a number of different meanings. They are generally used to indicate something which is uh, potential or uncertain. Uh, in, when we seek for permission, like uh, you wanna, if you wanna go to the restroom, so how would you seek permission from your teacher to go to the restroom? May I go to the restroom, please? Good, good one, nice one. So this is the most polite way uh, to seek permission. But uh, the native students, they generally use, they usually use can I. So uh, for asking permission or to for uh, for request, uh, uh, could could I? sounds more polite so we can use could instead of can or may like uh, uh, could you please tell me where the bank is uh, could i use your bathroom please good on except uh, well Tassin, you know uh, to express a uh, general ability in the present we use can like uh, uh, Tassin can drive a bike Tassin can swim wow Tassin also can swim uh, to express a uh, general ability in the past we use could like uh, I could swim uh, for hours when I was younger. Really? Yep, uh, I'm just a country boy. Uh, I am a city boy. Uh, well, does it, you know, uh, to express possibility in the present, we can also use can, like uh, uh, it can get cold there at night, so take a jacket or pullover. Pullover. Right, so now could plus perfective. It also means the possibility in the present, like uh, uh, it could have rained last night, but I'm not sure or uh, John could have gone to the movies yesterday, etc. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Take care.